I just found these beautiful fabric boxes at Marshall's, I believe, and then I grabbed some tissue paper, red, and I crumpled it up and placed it inside the box. You can use fabric boxes, wooden boxes, you can use really any type of boxes, any shape or size that you like. Then I found some sweet pajama pants in that beautiful buffalo check in the red and black. I folded those up, put those in the box. I found this fantastic Christmas book and I placed that in the box as, as well. And then my DIY monogrammed t-shirt, I folded that up and put that inside as well. And then I also went ahead and put in this hot cocoa. I just found some cute little hot cocos uh, from Marshalls, I think these ones are. And then the DIY monogrammed mug as well. This mug was just from Dollarama. And then I put some little Christmas snowball chocolates in a bag with a tied ribbon and put that in the box as well. You can add little extra cute things like candy canes, little sweets, anything like that to make your box personalized and special. Finally, I took my monogram I cut with my Cricut and I tied it to the handle on my box. Another idea is you could stencil your recipient's name onto a wooden box. You could put vinyl stencils or their name onto the wooden box as well. There are lots of customizable options and that is completely up to you and how you want to make your Christmas Eve box. So here is how my personalized Christmas Eve box turned out. I love how these are color coordinated. That makes me really happy too with that cute little buffalo plaid, so perfect for Christmas. I give my girls pajamas and little books Christmas Eve anyway, so this is such a fun way to present it to them at Christmas time. I can't wait to see their faces when they see these under the tree Christmas Eve. For this basket, I am taking this tin that I found online. I will link to similar ones in the description box below. I'm cutting a couple of two inch wide strips of cardstock and then just taping that together with some scotch tape. I'm then taping this around the tin just like this. And then I have this Christmas baking kit label. You can find this free printable on my blog and I will link it down in the description box below. Filling up this tin with some tissue paper and then I have this sweet little apron. You could DIY one or you could just find an inexpensive one from the dollar store, folding that up and placing that in the back of the Christmas gift basket. Then I have this Christmas sugar cookies mix. I will link the recipe to this down in the description box below. Popped it in a mason jar and I also have these free printable tags that I printed on my printer and just tying this instruction label around the neck of the jar. Then I'm placing the jar inside of the tin along with the apron and a few Christmas sprinkles. I think adding these labels makes this gift extra cute. Also adding a cute little Christmas cookie cutter and a wooden spoon and my gift is all done. I'm using this really cute wired gift basket from Dollarama and I also grabbed some of this really pretty golden metallic tissue paper. I think it's a good idea to put quite a lot of tissue paper inside gift baskets so that your items are standing up and kind of poking out of the gift basket. Don't forget to remove all of the tags from your items if you're using dollar store items and nobody will know your secret. I'm adding a little makeup bag, an exfoliating glove, candle, bubble bath, a couple of brushes, and I'm finishing it off with this cute mug that I made with the Cricut, as well as some chocolates. It's a collection of simple items, but I think someone would really appreciate this gift basket. The finishing touch is that tag that I made to match the mug, and I'm just taking some golden ribbon and tying the tag to the handle of my gift basket. Now this basket is all finished and ready to give. I love how this one turned out.
So I made this mulled wine mix. It is a combination of dried oranges, dried lemons, dried apples, cinnamon sticks, spices, and sugar. I will leave the recipe for it down in the description box below. I found this wine stopper from HomeSense and this jug was from Real Canadian Superstore. This one also comes with free printable instructions and a tag you can print off. And what I found to work best was I placed my DIY mold wine mix in a really tall bag, found the tall bag at Michael's, placed that in the pitcher, and then I slid the wine inside just like this. So you'll need to make sure if you're doing this one to grab a pitcher that is nice and large. Next, I'm tying the directions to make the mold wine onto the neck of the wine bottle. And then I'm adding this cute little LED wine bottle stopper to the inside of the pitcher, just like this. This gift turned out so beautifully, and if you put this all together in a pot, warm it up, it's an absolutely delicious festive drink to enjoy. You can also swap the wine bottle for some juice instead. Let's make a really simple spa day gift in a tin, taking another tin, placing some tissue paper inside. And now I'm taking a little bit of scrap lace trim and tying this around the trim. Now I have these free printables. Once again, you can find them on my blog. I will link them in the description box below. Placing this spa day in a tin one, just in the front of the tin, and then adding some Epsom salts to a mason jar, labeling the top of it and putting the lid on. I'm placing this inside of the tin and adding a label around the mason jar. I'm also placing a beautiful candle inside, adding a label to that as well. Adding some of my favorite lotion and a few bags of tea. And then finally, I'm just hole punching this label, tying a ribbon around it and adding this to the side of my tin. This is a really simple and sweet gift for pretty much anybody on your list. This wire basket's from Dollar Tree, and I'm adding some red tissue paper inside. I found this iced coffee at Dollarama, and I'm adding some little cookies to the basket as well. Next, I put some coffee beans inside of an upcycled jam jar and then adding that beautiful personalized mug. I love the color of this one, red with the turquoise inside. We're gonna finish this one off with that cute little tag and some more red ribbon. And this one is all done and I think it would make a great gift for so many people. I could see this being a teacher's gift or a gift for a friend. This alfresco dining gift box is such a fun and unique idea. I'm just taking this tray I found at the dollar store and I'm painting it with some gray paint and then dry brushing some white paint on top to give it a rustic look. I'm placing some grocery store flowers in a mason jar and then just cutting a little piece of ribbon to tie around the jar to give it a really country chic look. Placing the floral arrangement inside, adding some packing material to the basket, then adding a couple of bottles of pop, some outdoor dining essentials like plates, cutlery, and some napkins, tying the whole thing with a ribbon. And then I have this free printable tag on my blog. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below, tying that in the middle. And this alfresco dining gift box is all done. Now let's make an ice cream Sunday night gift basket. This one is also family friendly and fantastic for so many people on your list. I'm placing some red tissue paper in a basket, then some ice cream bowls. These ones are waffle cone ice cream bowls, an ice cream scoop, some Sunday syrup, cherries, candies, and some sprinkles. Again, you can customize this to make it perfect for your recipient and just arrange things as you go. This one is super easy and the label itself says just add ice cream so the family that you give it to can add ice cream to it and enjoy a family Sunday night. I 
I love this gift basket idea for a family. I'm taking a couple of strips of cardstock, they're about one inch wide, and just taping that around this tin, just like this. Next, I'm taking these free printable labels. I'm placing one on the front of the tin. And then I have this cute little mason jar. I actually made a sleeve for it with an upcycled sweater. I will link to that tutorial down in the description box below. Placing this inside of the tin and then just adding some Christmas candy. I found these cute little glass bottles of Coke. You can find them at Costco, the dollar store, adding a movie, adding some popcorn, printing out this movie night label and tying it around the side of the tin. And this one is all done. Such a sweet gift for a family, for a friend. And I love that it promotes an activity that you can do together as a family. Now to assemble this gift basket, you can grab a large tin like this one. This one's from Dollarama. Add a lot of tissue paper inside, especially if you have a larger scale tin like I do. For this one, I am using some metallic gold. And then for the items, just think of all the cozy textiles you can add. I'm adding this beautiful scarf, some really fuzzy socks, this sweet candle shaped like a pine cone. And then you can add some fuzzy mittens, some delicious chocolate, some twinkle lights, and your personalized stay cozy mug. And now let's add that little gift tag to finish off this sweet little gift basket. And we're all done. I love how warm and cozy this one looks and I can't wait to give this one away. I'm grabbing this beautiful mixing bowl. You can grab any sort of bowl for this gift basket and you can find this free printable label on my blog. I will link it down in the description box below. I always love to start with some nice basket filler. I'm using this recyclable stuff from Michaels and then I'm adding some pancake mix. This is just from Dollarama, the dollar store here in Canada. And so is this pink dish towel and this pink themed oven mitt as well. I also got these beautiful pink mixing spoons and pancake flour from Amazon. I will also link that down in the description box below. So once you have gathered all of your items, just place them inside of the bowl, sort of like I'm doing here. I like to have my taller items at the back of the basket with my shorter items in front. To complete this basket, I'm adding a can of maple syrup and a little faux Christmas tree to kind of give this one more of a holiday feel. For this next one, I'm hollowing out a baby pumpkin. I'm putting a jar inside and adding some dried flowers and making this cute little arrangement. Now I'm using my Cricut to create some little pumpkin socks and I'm adding everything inside this upcycled gift box with a little bit of packing straw, a beautiful candle, a mug, and some handmade soap. Adding a duckle to this box as well and this is a beautiful gift for that pumpkin spice lover in your life. Now let's do a sugar cookie and hot cocoa night themed gift basket. I also put a free printable tag on the side of this one. I think this one would be so fantastic for a whole family. Adding some basket filler, adding it in natural color and in red. I made this sugar cookies in a jar. I will leave the recipe in the description box below. You could also just buy a sugar cookie mix as well. And then you can add a rolled up apron and a rolling pin to the back of the basket. Next, I'm adding some hot chocolate mix, a jar full of mini marshmallows, and I found these mugs at Walmart a couple years ago, and I love them, adding them to the front of the gift basket. And I often like to rearrange my gift baskets as I go along and just create a nice pleasing look as I go. These beautiful copper cookie cutters were from HomeSense, which is like home goods in the States. This one is so fantastic and I love how it turned out.
Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope it helped you get some ideas for DIY Christmas gift baskets that you can make this holiday season that aren't gonna cost you a lot of money, but that can be completely personalized to make them special gifts for someone. I also have tons more DIY gift basket ideas on my blog, thediymommy.com. I will link some more blog posts and ideas down in that description box below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget.